welcome to our new lesson this time is form one this topic is handling four pieces rates ratio proportion and percentage now the last one percentage you've already come across it in primary okay where we have a factor we multiply by a hundred so I'm going to dwell on the first three one rates when we talk of rates rates is comparison of two quantities okay so there will be two quantities I am talking about one in relation to the other for example I can compare distance and time that I covered 80 kilometers in four hours so you can see the two quantities one is distance 80 kilometers I'm comparing it with the time I took four hours. I can compare slim fit, slim fit. You know, if I am big, I want to be slim. Loss of kilogram in given weeks, e.g. losing five kilograms in 10 days so you see there is mass and there is time one quantity is mass a second quantity is time if you want to become slim another example I can be driving covering 400 kilometers and using 3,000 liters of petrol so you can see again I'm comparing which two quantities distance and liters volume volume 3,000 liters of petrol was used to cover 3,000 kilometers or 4,000 kilometers. The aspect I want you to know is quantities. And those quantities, in the example I've given, they have different units. Okay? Don't bother about SI unit. Just take units for you to understand. So, when I compare two quantities, of different units I talk about rate even in the bank you go you hear rate of exchange although it is money but with different units eh? you see you are talking about dollars and Kenya shillings although now Kenya shillings is very thin okay the global economy is down because of COVID-19. That is not a rate. I'm just giving an example. Okay. Ratio. Ratio is comparing two quantities of similar unit. Okay. I can compare how much I have. You know, I have a lot of money. One million. I can compare with what you have. I know you have only a thousand. So I can compare my money in Kenya shillings and your money in Kenya shillings. Now you see the units, shillings, shillings. So in that comparison, we talk about ratio. Now it's not rate, it is ratio. Comparing quantities of the same unit. I can compare the length of my room three meters okay three meters the length of my room three meters 
and the length of a model a small model okay 10 centimeters the 10 centimeters has to be converted into meters or the 3 meters converted into centimeters so when i compare the two and both have the same units the units cancel i remain with figures which we call ratio proportion here we deal with at least more than two ratios so i have talked about rates comparison <coughs> of two quantities eg distance compared to time 80 kilometers done in four hours in fact i can ask you now what is the rate per hour so you will say 20 kilometers per hour so one hour 20 another hour 20 another hour 20 so in four hours 20 80 ratio similar quantities for example my shoe size kenya size 15 number 15 you 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 are only putting number 10 so you see size sizes 15 to 10 note ratio must be in smallest number when you are writing a ratio it must be in the smallest number possible so what do i do five goes here three times and five goes here two times so it is the smallest number and it has to be whole not decimal it has to be in the smallest whole number okay smallest whole number i think i can put that smallest whole number i've given you the example now we finish with the proportion comparison of more than two ratios an example now we focus down a bit here I want us to focus a bit down here yes so Anyango contributed 24,000 towards some business but Beatrice contributed 42,000 and Carol contributed 30,000 so what is the their contribution proportionally okay so contribution of a compared to b compared to c anyango beatrice carl if you write this there will be big figures okay 24000 42,000 and 30,000. Which figure goes into them? You will find it will reduce them to first, if I cancel by a thousand, this is very important 24,000, 42,000, then I have 30,000. So I want us to move step by step. Eh? This is common. Thousand, thousand. It's common. Now I've reduced it to 24, 42, 30. Look for what can go in them. You know, we must write it in the smallest whole number possible. So here, six, four times. Six, seven times. Six, five times nothing can reduce this so this is their contribution proportionally it's very important for you to know that because when we get the profit we shall also divide it according to this okay according to this whatever profit we get we shall divide it according to this so if our profit is B, the profit we got is B, and we want to distribute it to each one, we shall say this one will get 4 
over the total 16 times p then this one will get 7 over 16 times p and this one gets 5 over 16 times p that's how we'll share that profit to focus up now as i conclude we must know that proportion because it has some consequences whenever we get something back to us it has to be given proportionally next lesson we take these ideas put them in question and see how we get the answers bye bye